we continue our study of limits, we now come to infinite limits. When we approach an x value and the y's become very large positive or very large negative, we say that the limit approaches positive or negative infinity. We'll be writing the symbol infinity this way. The limit of f of x equals infinity as x approaches c. Notice this is an implied both left and right limit. There are times that we'll only be able to use the left or the right because the other one does not exist. To study our, begin our analysis here, let's take 3 over x minus 2 squared. We're interested in the limit as x approaches 2 from both sides. We can start with the idea of looking at a table. 2 is what we're looking for, so we're going to try to come from the left-hand side. x is 1.9, 1.99, 1.999. We look at the y values, 300, 30,000, 3 million. Notice the y value is getting very, very large. If we come from the right-hand side, x is 2.1, 2.01, 2.001, getting closer to the value of 2. Notice again, the y values are getting very large, 300 to 30,000 to 3 million. So we would say the limit approaches infinity. Now algebraically, the way to analyze this is by looking at the denominator. Notice x minus 2 squared is not allowed to equal 0. So if we solve this equation, we get x equal 2. So something special happens at x equal 2. y is, has an infinite value at x equal 2. Let's look at the graph that goes with it. If we try to plot the points, apply the, try to plot the graph, we have a vertical asymptote when x has a value of 2. These are infinite limits that we're working with.